just looking at this, um, you know, the building thing, and like it's saying, because we're not building, it's, it's, it's making everything very expensive, isn't it? <laughs> Creating false house prices, which is great for the government, isn't it? And like they're making it dead difficult for affordable homes to be built on purpose. To the point now where the land is that expensive, you see. That's how fake it is. Um, if you stimulate the housing market, you stimulate the economy, don't you? So it's obviously not their intention, is it? To do so. Oh, there she is, look. Is it? I bet it is. Oh, I don't know. It's all slime, aren't they? So if you wonder why you're having to rent, or why you're bleeding children still at home, uh, you know, or why you've got <laughs> a mate on settee downstairs, <laughs> you know, it's because of this bullshit. Skills and material shortages. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, because as they've slumped everything, people aren't getting the training, are they? Remember a lad, he's come for his haircut, a nice bloke. <clears throat> really good brick, he like, you know, he could do a load of bricks a day. He were on mega money. Next thing he's come in and he'll be like that, there's no work. I wonder what. I wonder if he's managed to get going again. He's probably working for bloody £8 an hour now, isn't he? You see. They've literally, I would say, I worked it out a bit back and it, I would say they were looking like 60%, aren't they? They've slashed a lot of wages by 60% one way or another. Which I remember a few years ago hearing that that was their intention. Well, they've bloody done it now, haven't they? They've done it now. And it suits them. Supporting uh, a housing market bubble, really, doesn't it? You know, because it will pop, won't it? And then we'll be back exactly where we was again, won't we? And it's just going to... Basically, it's like having an engine and you're just firing on three cylinders, aren't you, instead of four? That's basically the future, that, isn't it? You know, that's their intention. That's the way it's going to be. Private landlords need to be encouraged to release sites for homes. So we're going down to land. Who owns the land? The Wicked Witch owns the land, doesn't she? Tell you what. I mean, don't forget Russell Brand. Loves the Queen. Don't forget that. I did a video on it. He loves the Queen. You know, he believes in freedom and he's making money. Yeah, but I mean, I know, like, it's all protect the green belt, but there's loads of it, isn't there? What are we protecting? I know. I know what the point is of it all, but what's the real point of it? You know, there's bags of land in England, isn't there? And it's like they're keeping us from what's from it, isn't it? And there are any 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 reason they can show sure that. Your sat in a house that's worth 140 grand when in reality it's only worth about 70 grand, shouldn't it? And it's all part of the killing machine, isn't it? You know. It's bullshit. And the private landlords are on a winner, aren't they? They might have 100 houses, might they? And they go to the bank and go, I want to buy this house. And the bank goes, brilliant, no problem. 101. 102. 103. 104. And all them properties. Going up in this 
they're going to take a smack, aren't they? If it does, if it does elastic bang back. Ooh, going to take a smack, aren't they? But they still have the property, won't they? Because it's so stupid, aren't they? I thought in this scumming. Ah, what? 250,000 homes needed to be built every year to prevent spiralling house prices and shortage of affordable homes. There you go. I rest my case on that. Will be one.